Okay, and we're back once again with a new game. This is Trine. It's pretty old. I've actually played Trine 2 before with a friend and beaten it, but I never played the original Trine. Um, so like I said before, just going through, cleaning up some old games, starting a new game here. Just did a previous test before. And, uh, here's the story. Let's once listen. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Okay, so starting off as the thief. Everything was here. Oh, perfect. more story stuff. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay, once again. <laughs> so we start off as the thief character whose name is Zoya, I think, if I can remember. Um, she has a bow as her primary, and her secondary is a grappling hook thing which she can use to swing. Um, yeah, Trine's kind of a, for those who don't know, it's kind of like a puzzle action adventure game. There's like three different characters you have and you they each have different abilities and you use their abilities in conjunction with each other to solve puzzles and stuff and proceed. Oh my. Axes. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. So uh it's kind of old, but you know. It's still good. Don't know why that fell. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Oh look, gold and treasure everywhere. <sighs> Open chest. And... As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Anyway, the wizard... Oh, whoa, we actually have, like, mana in this game? Interesting. Wow, that wasn't in Shrine 2. Um, the wizard, as far as I know, doesn't really have any ways to defend himself. Um, but he does have magical abilities to build boxes. Uh, and move stuff. I'm assuming green potions are experience, basically. Oh, I see, yeah. So I gotta get up. Wow. Just glitch through there. 
come on. Up here, up here, up here, jump on that, and over. And push that down. There we go. We got green vials and mana vials and a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, so then we gotta levitate these out of the way. He doesn't really have a way to defend for himself unless he, like, draws boxes on himself. Uh, or he can do, I think he can only build one box at a time. No. He can only build one box at a time now. I don't know if this game has the same sort of, uh, whoops, same sort of, uh, level up system as trying to do. Door's open, but I'm not done here. I want to get... Can I pull this down? Yes, I can. And then collect this one. Oh, you can't build in the air in this game. I think you still have enough time, actually, to do... Do some cheap shit. Damn it. You should. Come on. There you go. Oh, I could have just tilted the platform. The wizard saw a glimmering that. light coming from the shrine. I don't know why he's No one shine. had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. And look, we're at the Ooh. exact same chest. My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. And then they introduced us to the third character. At the other end of uh, the, the Academy, knight. a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead Pontius. and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. So I don't remember the wizard's name actually, since I didn't play him that much when I played Trine 2. But the knight's name is Pontius. I know that for sure. Unless they have different names between the games, although I'm pretty sure they're the same character. Hmm. Oh, I see it. There we go. Come back. It's just supposed to fall. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! What's going on? The knight saw a faint light coming from the age old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. What's going on? The knight joined in, 
taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Yay for random graphic versions. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. And now we get into fighting it's stuff, maybe? It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure! Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object. The trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... The thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape, hopefully with the treasure and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. Undead. Is that the only way to change characters? One, two, or three? <laughs> Don't scare me! Oh God! Ugh, come on. There's nothing else I can oh. do. What have I got myself into? Okay, fine. We have to find a way to reverse the spell, to undo the magic. The tomb of the guardian in the catacombs may have the answer, and it's not far away. Uh, it's gonna be kind of annoying to change characters with one, two, or three. Maybe I can change that in the controls, actually. One sec. Controller. Customize. There we go. Jump a space, uses E, switch to wizard. Can I just use Q? Oh, here we go. Yeah, next character. Q. There. Let's see if it worked. Q. Okay. Just gonna do that. It's honestly easier than clicking. Or faster than clicking the. Really? Faster than clicking the buttons. Dang it. Stupid wizard. I generally think the wizard is the weakest character. Experience and so Oh, okay. Playing that way, huh? Seriously? Come on. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. Thief powers. Huh, doesn't appear to be anything up there. Checkpoints. Oh yeah, it's gonna be kind of annoying actually. Playing this game without another person to get checkpoints. 
just looking for stuff I've missed. Oh, yeah. So he is, I would say, the, or in my opinion, the most useful character. But I mean, you kind of have to use all of them. And really? Come on. Are you serious? There we go. I wonder how we level up actually. There we go. So you can level up. Okay. Uh... I don't think I've actually reached a full level yet. Amadeus is his name. Zoya was right in Pontius. He's got a box. He's got a red. Okay. Present. I might not be able to make okay I did. I got it. What was that? A secret? Just something random? I'm assuming there's gonna be more enemies here. Swing back and forth, move up a little higher, and then jump. Yeah, as you can see Zoya is already like the most useful character.